everybody. Hey everybody, this is John Rick Oclart Galito, your boy. And then this is group one. Then our topic is all about ancient technology. So we're giving, I was showing you some of the ancient technology that we searched to find it and then present it to this video and hope you like it. And this, I got to present to you some of my members. So there you go. Hi, I'm Kenji Bereto from Section S1M. I'm Lester Sableo from Section S1M. Hi, I'm Mike Aldrich Auraras from Section S1M. I am Don Bunda from Section S1M. Yo, what's up? This is me again. You already know my members. Then, we're gonna start it in the count of 5, 4, Greek fire. Although often a generalized term applied to any sort of incendiary weapon, the Greek fire invented by the Byzantine Empire was truly something special. Primarily used at sea, Greek fire, also called sea fire, was a substance projected through siphons or pressurized nozzles onto enemy ships, which were then ignited. Though its method of delivery was also highly advanced, what made Greek fire unique was that it could not be extinguished by water. Its exact composition was such a closely guarded secret that we still don't really know what it was made of. Number 9. Hofeng Di Dong Yi Zhang Hung was an ancient Chinese polymath who invented this remarkable device, whose name translates to Instrument for Measuring the Seasonal Winds and the Movements of the Earth. An early seismoscope, Hung's invention was a bronze urn-like machine that used a pendulum and cranks to drop a ball in one of eight directions, which indicated the direction of an earthquake. This allowed the government to quickly deliver aid to regions affected by the disasters. The Hofeng Didang Yi was able to detect earthquakes from hundreds of miles away, even if no tremors were felt by those in its vicinity, which was very impressive for the time. Number 8. Hypocost Central heating is a relatively recent development. Or is it? The hypocost was a form of primitive central heating invented by the ancient Greeks and later adopted by the Romans. Meaning underburnt, hypocausts were created with furnaces built under buildings, which fed smoky hot air into a space built between the ceiling of the lower room and the floor of the upper one, with pipes and outlets used to heat walls and upper floors. While some private residences used them, they required lots of labor, usually done by slaves, to maintain, so they were normally found in public buildings, like baths or temples. Number 7. Unartok Discs Named for the town in Greenland where the first was discovered, Unartok Discs are compasses that were used for navigation by the Vikings. He told me it was possible to go west over the open sea using this. The famed mariners and raiders used these discs in concert with sunstones, which were calcite crystals, to navigate even when the sun was behind clouds or below the horizon, though the latter was likely less common as they often sailed above the Arctic Circle, where the sun rarely sets during certain seasons. The discs and stones allowed Vikings to navigate within a few degrees of accuracy, and while still not perfect, that was definitely way ahead of its time. Number 6. Ancient Metal Plating they don't build them like they used to. In fact, they can't. Numerous metal plating and gilding techniques of bygone times are far superior to those of our modern day. Ancient metal workers were able to coat their metals in films of gold and silver in ways we still don't understand, creating beautiful and lasting works of art. In addition, some artifacts, such as the Iron Pillar of Delhi, India, are still standing and rust-free after 1,600 years due to being constructed with phosphorus, which acts as a better undercoating than those we have today. Number 5. Steam-Powered Pigeon Architas was an ancient Greek philosopher and polymath, and among other notable developments, he created a bird-like device powered by steam. A hollow wooden contraption attached to a source of steam, this pigeon was filled with pressure to the point where it was launched through the air, allowing it to fly for a few hundred meters. Besides being an early example of steam power, some have referred to Architas's invention as being among the first flying machines, or even one of the first robots. Number 4. The Lycurgus Cup Surely a cup can't be an advanced piece of technology, right? Well, as it happens, they can be. 
The Lycurgus cup is an ancient Roman cup that changes colors depending on which direction it's lit and possibly which substance is put inside it. This effect is achieved by microscopic gold and silver particles within the glass, which means that the Romans developed rudimentary nanotechnology over a thousand years ago. Not only that, but the Lycurgus cup is arguably more advanced than current technology used for differentiating different substances within water and has been inspiring scientists to emulate it. We may think we're serious drinkers now, but the Romans took things to a whole other level. Number three, ancient Chinese drills and gas pipelines. Drilling deep into the ground may seem like a recent human endeavor, but China has been delving the depths of the earth for around two millennia. The ancient Chinese drilled into the ground not for oil, but for salt, which was rare further inland. To find it underground, they developed highly sophisticated drilling technology, capable of reaching hundreds of feet underground and with a variety of drill bits for different situations. Their excavations also uncovered methane pockets, which, along with the salt water, they harvested and transported using bamboo pipelines. Just a reminder to subscribe to Sotheby's channel for more videos featuring amazing and unique artifacts like a lost imperial Chinese vase that was found in a French attic. Number 2. Hero's Robotic Cart Hero, or Heron of Alexandria, was in many ways the Leonardo da Vinci of the first century. He created many things that were centuries ahead of their time, including automatic doors and even a coin-operated vending machine. Arguably one of his most impressive inventions was a programmable cart that some consider to be one of the earliest robots. Instead of strings of code, though, the cart was programmed with literal strings, allowing it to go forwards and backwards, as well as turn. Number 1. The Antikythera Mechanism Named for the island it was found off the coast of, this mysterious device was actually an ancient Greek analog computer. Composed of bronze and around the size of a clock, the Antikythera mechanism could be used to indicate the location of stars, the phases of the moon, and the position of the planets the Greeks knew about years in advance. It could also keep track of the four-year cycle of games like the Olympiad. The device used complex clockwork the likes of which would not be seen again until the 14th and 15th centuries, and its creation predates most computers by a good 2,000 years.